I've seen a lot of y'all get lucky pulling artifacts, so I figured it's my turn. But first, I created something new for all of you artifact collectors out there. This is the personal artifact tracker. Now, this is not something that I'm going to be updating to guide you in terms of the best artifacts to choose or which ones to avoid. For that, you're going to have to refer to specific videos where I do like a tier list kind of tier maker ranking of artifacts like these are really good these are not so good but this is actually for those of you who want to keep track and be able to see at a glance which characters have artifacts and which characters don't but also which artifacts you own and what star ranking you have of them or don't own so this is actually tailored to me right now this is not for this is not like your version right in order for you to do your version what you would have to do is at the very top of this page you can click on and you can you can go to this you can find this i'll link it in the description of the video you press file right and then you would go to make a copy and when you make a copy it creates a, an exact replica of this one on your google drive and then you can edit it you can't edit mine because it's for me but you can make a copy and then edit yours with whatever yours is because i don't know do you have a uh, kingpin's artifact i have no idea maybe maybe you don't so you'd put a zero here right or maybe you do uh, maybe you have a six star version of his artifact i have no idea but you would have to go in and edit this yourself i know this is not for everyone not everyone wants to do this kind of thing i'm obviously not going to pretend that i have the technology to track everyone's artifact drops like that's you know that's some nasa level shit. but what i can do instead is give you this that you can use for yourself so i'm not i'm not i don't mean to brag but if you scroll down here you can see there's 150 artifacts in total in the game right now and i currently own 132 i'm missing 18 of them and then by my estimations, by my judgment, seven of them are meta. So that's just my own personal take. Again, I'm not going to be updating the like I'm going to be updating this for myself. Um, I'm not going to be updating it for you, but you can sort of, you know, do however you want and sort of change it however you want. I will update this with new icons. So if you do want an updated version in that sense, you can absolutely, um, you know, grab those. Um, but it would reset your data here, which is kind of frustrating, but I don't really have a better way of um, of doing that so yeah i just wanted to share this with you guys in case anyone was interested in this because i know i have been for a long time and i this is the best solution i could come up with um i just sometimes i forget what artifact i have for a character so when i'm you know pulling artifacts i'm like man did i, did I have that one already so now i can just quickly see at a glance which ones i don't have and i've highlighted them all in yellow um so i can very easily see and and realize when i pull something new um that i needed so yeah hopefully that helps you out if it's not for you that's cool Let's begin here now. I got 32,000 essence. We've got uh, we've got a ways to go here, but I'm hoping to see. Oh man! Um, apparently, by the way, Captain Marvel is going to be the artifact in the um, in the in the personal vault coming up soon. So do not choose Captain Marvel from the selectors. If you have a five star or a six star, I mean, unless you want a five star or six star version. Um, then you can certainly choose her. But if you're using a four-star artifact selector or a three-star artifact selector, oh, wow, that's a six-star echo. Choo-choo. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. I like that. I'm not even on channel 835. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Um, so, yeah, I don't choose Captain Marvel as a four-star or a three-star artifact selector because she will be f uh, gotten for free from the personal vault uh, coming up very soon. Ooh, three-star Groot. I actually didn't have Groot at all, funny enough. I, I had Echo already, um, but I didn't have Groot at all, so that actually eliminates one of the artifacts. He's, he's not a meta artifact, but I, I want to ideally have every single artifact, at least one copy of every single artifact in the game for my own personal uh, collector's sort of, uh, you know, achievement. And then it'll also make getting new artifacts from selectors and things like that easier because I won't have to play catch up with uh, old stuff that I've missed but right now what I'm hunting for besides hey generic six stars generic five stars you know I always love those because you need them for re-rolls but um, I'm really hoping to see Loki here that's my big whale right now that I'm that I'm fishing for that's the big the big juicy one if I can pull any version of Loki I mean four star five star six star preferred that would be that would be fantastic um, there are a couple of others that I would like Ooh, four star venom not bad that's a re-roll uh, I would like to see a, a, a Spider Gwen at some point because I'm still missing Spider Gwen's artifact, and I think hers is quite nice for PvP. And I'm actually aiming to give her a PvP build very, very soon. Whoa! So we got two of the um, uh, what Infinity Warps characters back to back. Okay, Weapon Hex and then uh, Arachnite. Interesting, interesting. It's so it's kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie. After watching you guys gamble, 
uh, and reacting to it. It's kind of funny doing it to myself now. I wonder if someone's going to do like a reverse <laughs> reverse reaction and react to me doing mine after I reacted to them doing theirs. I think that would be pretty funny. We're going to go down to 20k. And if we don't get anything, and we've had pretty... Ooh, Mysterio 3-star. We've had pretty good luck so far. In the first 10k, we've gotten a 4-star, a 6-star, and a bunch of 3-stars. I'm certainly not complaining. That was, a re that was a refund, actually, the triple threes. But I actually do want to pay some respects to my big homie 835 i know a lot of people tried 835 they had a lot of success uh i am neither confirming <laughs> i probably should deny but I'm, not, I'm neither confirming nor denying the success and the effectiveness of 835 but okay uh one more pull here no one more pull to get under 20k okay nothing so we're gonna move over now to 835 we did get we did get two we did get two not gonna complain about that we're going to go to English Channel 83. Was it English or Korea? I can't remember. But we're going to try English 835. Uh, well, as soon as we reconnect to the chat, there we go. And then if that doesn't work, we'll go to Korean 835. We're not doing a crystal pull, though. Don't worry. We're just doing... Oh, there's there's Loki right there staring me down. We're just doing Celestial Essence. I, I might do... Ooh, Blue Dragon. Ooh, Black Bolt. Wow, bro. Getting two artifacts right away uh, certainly makes you question whether 835 works. I, I can't, I can't, uh, I can't in good faith tell you that it works. But at the same time, uh, if you have a lucky, you know, you know, lucky charms exist for a reason, right? Rabbit, lucky rabbit's foot, whatever, as long as you're not actually going out and mutilating animals. Um, people have their superstitions, right? This is, this is no more and no less than a superstition. All right. That, that is what channel 835 is. It works for some people, and it doesn't work for some people. And you also have to remember uh, sort of like survivorship bias. The people who don't get lucky on 835, they're not, they're not making posts about it. They're not complaining about it. They're not sending you their screenshots or their recordings of pulling a bunch of essence and, and uh, getting nothing. It's only the people who are successful with 835. Ooh, four-star Miss Marvel. Not bad. It's only the people that are successful with 835 that will show you. And it sort of serves to enhance and heighten the believability of the you know imagined powers of channel 835 so don't don't let that fool you too much you know a little superstition is fine but if you tell if people tell you like oh you have to do it this way to get some good luck mm, i don't i don't know about that I, that's where my skepticism kind of kicks in and i truly become cynic alex all right we're nearing here on 10k uh, at 10k i'm gonna switch over to korean 835 that's a three-star Shadow Shell. Not bad. That's a five-star Wolverine. Choo-choo. I love five-star rerolls, baby. I love five-star rerolls. Okay, A35 is honestly doing me pretty good right now, but we are going to switch one more time. We are going to switch one more time. We've gotten five artifacts. We've gotten five artifacts of the four-star variety or higher. That is amazing. Okay, I cannot complain at all. And if I were to get nothing else for the rest of these 10K pulls, honestly, that's fine. However... I'm really hoping to see Loki. <laughs> I'm really hoping to see Loki. I really would like any version, man. I would even settle. Ooh, five-star lizard. It's so weird. As soon as you switch channels, you get an artifact. It's so weird. Some, some, might, some might say or, or make the argument that you might as well just keep switching channels. Like, do a couple pulls, switch channels. Do a couple pulls, switch channels. I cannot be, you know, I CBA for that. I can't be arsed to do all that. It's just too much work. But it is really nice. It is really nice to get a five-star artifact, you know? And for the artifacts that I don't have, even for bad characters, I will gladly equip a five-star or a four-star. A six-star, I probably won't. If that was a six-star lizard, I'll be honest with you, I would use it to re-roll another artifact. But if it's a five-star or a four-star, I will equip it because it helps my growth score. And my growth score, wow, four-star Shuri and three-star Nebula. Wow, I've never seen two. Or it's, it's very rare for me to see two artifacts. Um, the reason why I'd equip almost any uh, four star or five star is because of growth score. And the growth score helps you with so many things, including dispatch, to get you to higher levels when you're setting the characters up. Three star Ghost Rider. Oh, man. <laughs> I know someone out there wishes that was them. I wish I could give you that one because I already got a four star version. But yeah, it's looking like we might not see a Loki, and that's okay. We've gotten tremendously lucky, and uh, that's all you can ask for. You know, even if it's not the artifacts that I want, and even if I'm still left uh, missing the, the the big ones, the key ones, that's okay. We got CM coming up soon, who's really, really nice. 
that's going to be a, a notch in everyone's belt because of how strong she is um, and how sort of universally useful she is. But in the meantime, ooh, another four-star Venom. Man, I think, like, my account loves Venom, dude. I think I've pulled two uh, six-star Venom artifacts and two four-stars and maybe, like, a five-star as well. I've pulled so specifically Venom. I've pulled so many Venom artifacts. It's actually crazy. Okay, we're out of essence. We're going to try the, the, the ones. We're going to try these ones here. Okay, I did, not, I did not mean to not skip that. I apologize. If we pull a three here, we could bump back up to 250. No, we can't anymore. Okay, and uh, just do a 110 pull instead of having to do a bunch of ones here. You know what's really cool, though? Pulling an artifact on the ones, doing the singles. It's actually, it's actually really cool. All right, so there you have it. What do you think of my pulls? We'll do we'll do one. You know what? We'll do one cheeky, one cheeky pull here, to see if we can get uh, get our man Loki. No, we get Bishop and Squirrel Girl. <laughs> I think I don't have Squirrel Girl's artifact, so I think uh, <laughs> as far as these pulls were concerned, I got um, I actually got two characters that I didn't have. I got uh, Squirrel Girl. And I got Groot. Not the ones I was hoping for, to be, to be real with you. But still. Okay, fine. We'll do one more cheeky pull. One more cheeky pull of 10. Uh, we got a three-star Sunbird. Not not what you want to see. I have a, I believe I have a four-star Sunbird already. That's not what, that's not what I want to see. Okay, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. I might do a couple more pulls uh, in the future. But in the meantime, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of the artifact pulls, the essence pulls. And of the personal artifact tracker. Are you going to use it or not? Why or why not? Thank you so much for watching. Smash the like button. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.